A big issue that Shopify stores can have when being indexed by Google is being flagged for duplicate content. And this is just because of how Shopify actually structures the different pages on the site. So let me quickly explain what this means, how it looks, and then I have a one minute quick fix for you as well. You just have to put some code into your Shopify theme, but don't worry, I'll show you exactly what to do. So when you create a product with Shopify, you can have it listed in a variety of different collections. Let's say you have a product that's black boots. You could have it listed in the women's collection, the apparel collection, shoes, boots, black shoes, shoes under $50. I mean, you could create so many different collections that this product could live in and it would all still be relevant. The problem with that though, is that each time you put a product in a different collection, Shopify then creates a different URL for it to actually link in from that collection. So let's say if that product is in five different collections, well now you have five different links to the exact same product page, but the URLs are just a little slight bit different based off of that collection name. This can be problematic for Google then that sees it as all these duplicate pages and the product page looks the same, the URL is just a little bit different. So Google either thinks, okay, well, they're trying to trick the system and it's just all this duplicate content. But the biggest issue is that Google just doesn't know which page is the most important to show to your viewers in the search results. So it's important to then highlight and say, okay, Google, this is the collection or the product page that I want you to showcase. I'm not at all saying that you need to just have one product per collection. You can put it in as many collections as you want that are of course relevant. However, you wanna just make sure that you let Google know which product URL you want to actually have be your main one. So whenever people are linking to your site and you're kind of building up that link juice for all of your search engine optimization efforts, you have an exact URL that is being focused on and is going to be promoted more. So to do this, we need to add just a small line of code into your Shopify theme to again, highlight which one Google should be prioritizing. So it doesn't get rid of any of the other URLs that you're linking in through different collections. However, it's just going to showcase this is the one to prioritize. So to add this in first, you're gonna to need to go to your Shopify backend under online store and themes. Make sure you're on your current published live theme and then click edit code. Once you're in this back end area, be careful, you don't wanna mess anything up here, but you can see on the left hand side, you have a layouts section and you wanna click on theme.liquid there. Then at the top of the site within the head tags, you're going to add this little bit of code. So I'm gonna put it on the screen right here because I don't wanna say it wrong and then mess everybody up. Uh, I'll also have it listed in the description below or below this video. So you can actually copy that and paste it in or just pause this video and type it in yourself. But this code is then going to just prioritize your product page individually and get rid of the other bits of the collection that could be added into your URL. So you're showcasing the main product page as the priority. And that's it, you're done. You've got that code added in, make sure you hit save. And again, you're careful over there and you don't mess with anything else. Also just make sure that anytime you're either removing a product or a collection from your online store that you're actually redirecting the URL. So that way you don't have any broken links on your site. And if you pin something on Pinterest and now that product is removed, you're actually linking that URL to a, another product or another area of your site so it doesn't just have the viewer drop off. And to do that, you're going to go to online store and navigation, and then you'll see it view URL redirects there. Here you'll just type in where you're redirecting from, so that old URL that you're now removing that product or collection or page, and then the new URL as well. Now this is just one piece of an overall strategy for SEO, for on-site optimization for your Shopify store. I go into more detail in how to optimize your site for the search engines based off of keywords in this video over here. So if you're looking to do more SEO for your Shopify store and you're wanting to get ranked on page one of Google, which I mean, come on, don't we all, then make sure to check that video out.